hi welcome to the part 4 of this playlist so do not forget to click the join button with some small money you can get access to ample of questions and knowledge please hit the subscribe and the like button if you like my videos let us look at question 24 see in a nutshell what is asked is the there is one guy he is a product manager or she is a product manager and that person does not have a aws account and you have a dashboard from cloudwatch you want to share it so how can you do that so the first one says that you share the dashboard from watch console by putting the email address and uh, complete the steps and then you provide a shareable link for the dashboard to the product manager see with email address you can send it but when that guy would click on the link this shareable link right when the guy clicks here it will ask him to come to aws but then uh, how will he log in we don't know right so this would be wrong so this one says uh, b is saying that you create a user for this product manager in im and you give this access and then you give the username password to the product manager and you give the url so when the user will product manager no when he clicks the url it will ask for username password he will uh, enter it and he already has access given so he can see the dashboard so this looks correct to me so you see here <coughs> least privilege principle of least privilege here this one so when you give just read only access this is least privilege because that person can only see the reports so this should work now c is saying that you create a user but not for the product manager you create for employees give view only access then you share the login credentials with the product manager so this looks a way of kind of <coughs> you're telling the product manager to go to the console and locate the dashboard in the dashboard section by name and etc that is uh, too much why would you take so many steps the b takes less steps c takes more steps plus uh, C is creating something for the employees, not the product manager. So this looks wrong. So D is saying that you use a bastion server. When the product manager requires access to the dashboard, start the server, share the RDP credentials on bastion server, and ensure that browser is configured, and then you will do the caching of credentials because you are mad right option d only crazy people will select so what he is saying is when product manager requires access that time you will start the server so product manager before he is trying to access he will tell you hey boss can i access then you will start the server so if he wants to access at 12 o'clock that means for this product manager the support team will be awake maybe he wants access at 12 o'clock let me start the server at 12 o'clock this solution doesn't work foolish people will pro propose such solutions so my take is this is the answer but if you have a different view let me know i saw some places in the internet where they have chosen a as the answer with a the only problem i see is like without the access see this guy you know is going to access it periodically so when people want periodic access you will have to create a im user who gives via email and then how will you log in you will click the link and then how will you log in so that's why a looks incorrect to me but you can let me know your thoughts see this question is about sso in a nutshell you know they have active directory on premises okay and your sso should 
from AWS should use this Active Directory. So the company manages accounts centrally, and it has all different accounts. So first one says that you use SSO console, and you create a one-way forest. See what is the difference? Why one-way forest? See one-way forest is right because either it says that uh, they want to continue using on-premises self-managed Active Directory. So two-way means you can also work through the Active Directory in your cloud world. So this one would be correct. Two-way will not work because of this requirement. So two-way is wrong. And uh, here also two-way is wrong. An IDP is not required. You already have this self-management. So this is my final answer. So in this question, it is the question is talking about wipe service, and it uses UDP connections. If you see this, this is a UDP connection. So UDP means NLB. Okay. So load net, uh, network load balancer. If you see UDP, it is not a ALV. So any option which which has ALV is wrong. So we <coughs> are able to say like remove two options. Now there are two NLBs, A and C. See whenever I see uh routing like we have to route users to region with lowest latency that means there has to be a latency record as a origin and this is a route 53 question so i do not see route 53 here option a so this is my answer and option a would be wrong so this would be my final answer so please hit the subscribe and the like button this was part four these are all real certification questions do not forget to join click the join button there are other questions if you join this and become a member you can gain access to these questions see you in the next part